Please tell us maybe two or three ways in which you feel that particular domain is being shaped by emerging technologies, right? Mm. Uh, space. Oh gosh. Uh, so in space, I think you know the most important is I think twofold. It's the miniaturization and linked to it, uh, cheaper space launch which is allowing a wider set of actors to access space, be important for space. It makes weaponization of space a lot easier. Um, so, you know, it's creating this environment where a high school lab has the capability, uh, you know, can operate a satellite that great powers did not previously, a, a microsat, a CubeSat, whatever it is. But then we also have, you know, corporate actors, much of whether it's, you know, famously SpaceX to, we don't pay attention to it, but it's got a number Number of Chinese rivals, a wide variety of private companies. And so if we're moving forward, it creates trends, you know, space while traditionally and arguably under arms control treaties, it's not supposed to be weaponized. Every state actor is gearing up for that, you know, uh, China, United States, a number of Russia. Secondly, in any conflict, not just in any conflict on planet Earth, space will matter. There will probably be conflict up there. Oh, by the way, back to our prior discussion, a fear is that maybe there's something that happened in space that drives conflict back on Earth. Another part is more and more private actors, whether it's Chinese companies, American companies, Indian companies, you, you name it, and that complicates. And now let's take all that and move it out of low Earth orbit, move it further and further, move it on to the moon, move it on to issues of mining. We get all the old uh, debates from centuries back of who owns what. Do I stand by my private actor that makes some kind of claim out there? Really complicated, really a lot of, a lot of issues to be worked out. The overall concern, and there's a great program called InterAstra that's looking at this, um, is there's so much opportunity in the space, you know, emergent economy. It's, it's more than just, you know, minerals. It's, it's the potential of drug production there, you name it. But how do we keep it from replicating or worsening issues back on planet earth? How do we keep it from just becoming, um, making the rich richer? How do we keep space from being a, a, a playground for not just billionaires, but trillionaires? How do we back to the prior? Uh, discussion? How do we keep, um, you know, some conflict from there from driving conflict here? How do we make sure that the space economy is representative of the rest of us? Those are, I think, some major issues to work out. And so that hopefully sums up kind of, you know, my concerns yeah. in the space area. Yeah.